guys welcome back to my channel if you're new to this channel hi my name is Brittany nice to finally meet you so for today's video we are finally going to be reviewing the new dragon beauty translucent setting powder as well as the new forever fantasy setting spray so if you guys are interested please keep watching Hi right, guys so i am totally looking crazy because i am in the middle of doing my makeup so during this time right when i put on my concealer i like to spray my setting spray before blending it out because i find that it keeps it from creasing and it also makes my makeup just last a lot longer to start off we're obviously gonna look into the new dragon beauty forever fantasy setting spray so this is the package please don't mind my horrible nail it literally just popped off today of course but here is what the packaging looks like it's just like all the rest open her up there's nothing special in there and this is what the bottle looks like super pretty so this setting spray is supposed to smell somewhat like nikita dragon so let's see what she smells like so i'm not gonna lie smelling it at first is definitely a little weird so let me just shake it and see if the scent kind of gets better. Oh yeah, that's a lot better. There we go. So the scent is super, super like candy sweet if you guys have ever tried ariana grande perfume that kind of looks like a rainbow that is exactly what it smells like to me so i wonder if that's the perfume that she uses but that'll kind of give you an idea of what your face is kind of gonna smell like for me personally i think it's just a little bit too much on the sweet side i like more of an in-between sweet and fresh scent and this is just way on the sweet side before spraying this on my face i do want to say this contains alcohol that right away kind of threw up a red flag for me because my face is already super dry and if she has her perfume in here like she says and it's not water-based then I already don't even want to use it I'm just gonna try to let that slip my mind as I put this on my face so that definitely left a lot of drops it didn't go on misty the first spray went on like mist and then the other ones were just like <laughs> oh no guys okay let's just keep going okay so i'm gonna go ahead and blend out the rest of my face and i will be right back when we're ready to set okay guys so for the setting powders we have three different shades here and they of course come in the same packaging as the setting spray and as everything else that she has so let's go ahead and bake underneath our eyes using the pink translucent i do love that her packaging comes with a sticker because some brands just don't pay the time of day to do little things like that, which really matters because who doesn't like to know that their product is fresh? Wow, my first reaction to this is there is so much product that goes on. That is definitely a plus because it makes it so much easier to bake because some of the setting powders, you kind of have to load on your brush to get this much product on there because it kind of like fades away as you're placing it. And this one kind of just like sets it, but just leaves some residue behind for that perfect beat. It is a very subtle pink undertone so it's really gonna be great for brightening. All right so far I am already obsessed. Okay so now I'm gonna use a fresh brush to go ahead and wipe that away. I don't want to use any of my normal brushes because I don't want those powders to end up mixing with these and not give us the full raw result. Let me get you guys up close. Okay under my eyes there are so many little bubbles of just caked on product i don't know if you guys can see it but it literally looks like i have scales underneath my eyes 
with that being said i'm gonna go ahead and take the pink one and bake it right now i had just tried to use it to just set it so let's see how it does when it bakes hopefully it doesn't have the same result but we are gonna put it to the test i really really hope that this works out because i am so obsessed with the way this product moves across your face and just gives such a great payoff like i love how caked it gets it with such little products so i really really hope that after this bakes it looks flawless and not like i'm a freaking scale person <laughs> Next, we're gonna use Invisible to set the remaining parts of our face. So here's what it looks like. So I'm just going to, oh my goodness. I was just gonna set half of my face, but I forgot how much product can come off. So far, this one is really doing a beautiful job. And so far, I am seeing a huge difference. This one definitely is a bit more blurred and a bit more softer looking compared to this side. So, so far, it's doing it's doing pretty good. They kind of have like a, a fresh scent to it too. It smells really good. Okay, so now that I have completely set my entire face, I'm just gonna go ahead and finish the rest of the products that I normally do on my face off camera. And then I will be right back to wipe off this bake and see how it looks. Okay guys, so update, I am still baking. I don't really think I put on that much product for it to still be baking, but that is not a bad thing because that means her product is really long lasting if it's still baking and it still basically has baked long enough that my normal setting powder that I used to bake would normally already be done and kind of looking like this area here versus the Dragon Beauty. It still has so much more pigment left to continue baking. So I really, really love that. That is awesome because that means my under eyes are gonna get super bright brightened and way more brightened than my normal setting powder so while it's baking still let's go ahead and use the yellow to sculpt out our contour so here's what the yellow looks like i love the color of yellow this is it's like a really light pastel yellow and then when I bake right here, I like to make kind of like that curved shape so that my cheeks can really pop and look a lot more defined because I have a wide face. So I find that doing that little shape kind of helps to carve my face out a little bit more. So little tip. <laughs> All right, so this is how it's looking after dusting away the yellow. Now I'm dusting away the pink. All right guys, so this is how our face is looking after it is completely dusted away as much as I possibly can get it. Let me go ahead and finish this off. Okay, there's definitely a good amount of alcohol in here because a little bit got in my eye and like it started burning. I can definitely feel my face instantly getting super tight. All right guys, so for my final thoughts, I have to say these setting powders were super pigmented and definitely do the job of brightening those certain stubborn areas. But for some odd reason, the pink one just said it so weird. Like, like really weird i did love how super brightening it left my under eye but i just i can't get over how much it caked and just left that really weird residue so definitely the pink one is just sadly out of the question this beige one was definitely okay it did set my face very nicely the only thing that i did notice was that it didn't leave my face looking poreless if anything it kind of just brushed over them and that was about it as for the yellow one i did really really love it but i feel like it is too deep of a yellow especially for my skin tone because you could kind of see it right here so just keep that in mind that you might want to watch with your baking time because you don't want it to be too overloaded with the color that it is and last but not least the forever fantasy setting spray was nice it was different it was so cute 
you to implement her scent. I loved that. That was something new, you know, nobody has ever thought to do that. For me personally and for my face, I just, I can't, I can't with the smell. It's just too sweet for me, a little too overloaded. And the fact that I know that this has so much alcohol, that was an automatic no. And when you first do that first spray, she's misty. Oh girl, she's misty, right? After like the second, third spray, it starts to spray drops. I don't really like when my setting sprays do that because then it leaves literally dots on your face. I do feel like it probably set my face. I'll have to let you guys know in a few hours. But as of right now, it seems like it did the job. Hey guys, so it has been about an hour and a half to two hours. And so far, the update is my face is definitely already breaking down. I mean, you can see so many pores and it literally looks like if I went and worked out and then just patted my face dry. Like my face looks super cakey, super creased. I don't know if you guys can see, but I already have some creasing up here in my forehead. It sucks to say that although I love Miss Nikita, these new products that she came out with are just not it. I have not been doing nothing but just sitting around and hanging out at home, so. For my face to already be breaking down within two hours, I just don't think it's worth the buy. If you guys enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. Comment down below what you thought of the new setting powders and the new setting spray. And if you really thought it was worth the hype. <laughs> don't forget to click that subscribe button and the notification bell so you're notified every other Sunday, every time that I upload. And as always, thank you so much for watching. Mwah.